Hello Creative Gems, welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy and today we are going to do something different. Today I'm going to show you how I transform a couple of pieces of wood into a set of beautiful marble shelves. And as a disclaimer, this is my very first time trying this so we will be doing a bit of experimentation along the way. The technique I will be using today will involve a thinly pointed paintbrush, a sponge and some Mod Podge. The best part is that this project is very budget friendly and as all materials are available from the Dollar Tree. To begin we are going to set the wood plank boards on a raised surface. Here you can see I'm just using two rolls of painter tape to set the wood on top of. We will then apply one to two layers of white paint directly onto the wood boards. You can use any acrylic paint or if you happen to have some leftover white paint or primer from the hardware store that will work fine as well. When applying the paint, make sure you cover all the sides of the wood board, front, back, and all the edges as well. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you are visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once the paint on the wood board is fully dry, we will need to make a small batch of paint containing mostly water and a bit of grey paint. Here I'm using some silver metallic acrylic paint from the dollar store and adding it to a small tin container of water. You'll want to have the mixture to be very liquidy, so make sure you apply only a bit of paint to the water. Use the tip of your paintbrush to stir the mixture so the paint infuses into the water. Then take a small sponge and dab it into the paint water mixture. Squeeze out the excess and then start lightly dabbing the surface area of the wood board. It's better to apply conservatively at first because you can always layer on more as you work through the piece. As you repeat the application of paint water to the board, have a sheet of paper towel handy in case you need to squeeze out the excess from the sponge. Otherwise, you may create too many air bubbles on the wood board, which will take longer to dry. Keep repeating the application of the paint water with your sponge until a first layer is applied across the board. You'll notice that as the paint water dries on the board, the grey will become fainter. If you want the grey to come through more prominently, simply continue to add another layer of paint water to the board. Again, go slowly so you can keep control of how much paint is applied and how prominently the grey shows through. And here's what the board looks like so far with the paint about three quarters dry. Next, you're going to want to take a dry side of your sponge and gently drag it in short strokes across the board. This will begin to blend some of the grey with the white so that you do not see any harsh lines. You'll start to notice the beginnings of some marbling. Next comes the really fun part. To create the veining that you typically see in marble countertops, you will need to use a paintbrush with a very pointy tip. Apply the dry tip of the paintbrush directly to your grey paint. A little goes a long way, so no need to saturate the paintbrush at all. When creating the veining, apply fine strokes lightly. They should be slightly jagged. 
definitely not straight. Don't forget to carry the veining to the edges of, of the wood board as well to give it a more convincing look. Take your time and make sure you don't add too many veins at once. Go slow as you can always add more veins but it would be pretty difficult to remove them if there are too many. The veins should also be drawn diagonally rather than vertically or straight across horizontally. Remember, the idea is to mimic the look of marble, so you want to make it look as natural as possible. Here you can see I'm also alternating between the paintbrush and the sponge to ensure the gray color blends so there are no harsh strokes. And some of the veining should be slightly darker than others, again to give it a more natural look. And the veins should also be of different lengths, some shorter than others, and some should branch out as well, like trees on a branch. And the beauty of this technique is that it is perfect for beginners like myself because you can keep applying more layers if you want to make the marbling more prominent. Here's what our board looks like so far. You can already see how similar this wood piece is to marble. The veins are showing through the base white background and they are carried through to the edges of the board. But we're not quite done yet. As the final step, when you are satisfied with the marbling, you will want to apply a, a gloss finish to make the piece shiny and slightly reflective. For this, we are going to apply a couple of coats of Mod Podge. Mod Podge comes in a variety of finishes, but for this project we will definitely want to choose the gloss finish in order to get that shiny effect. The Mod Podge, which is water-based, will dry clear and will act as a sealer as well. Here you will notice that I'm actually mixing the Mod Podge with some water. This is because the Mod Podge is glue and comes quite thick, so we want to water it down roughly 50% Mod Podge and 50% water. You want to add enough water until you get a milk-like consistency. Once the mixture is ready to use, use a foam brush to apply the Mod Podge to the board. The glossier the finish you want, the more coats you will want to apply. But make sure you let each coat dry fully before applying the next coat. For my board, I ended up applying about three coats in total. And 
here is what the wood pieces look like now, all marbleized after the Mod Podge has dried. You can see with the Mod Podge dried, it really gives the wood pieces the look of a shiny surface, similar to the marble, except this project only cost a few dollars to make. Stay tuned for my next video when I show you how I assemble these marbleized wood pieces into several different glam shelving units. Comment down below and let me know whether you think these wood pieces are convincing as marble shelving. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, hit the notification bell and check out these next videos for more glam home decor ideas.